I don't even know if I'll be able to do anything today. We have our third flood warning. I think California was in a drought for quite some time and now we're getting way more rain than we can handle. So I don't know what I'm gonna do today. It might just be a day in, depending on how bad the roads are. Bomi, Bomi is howling on the other side of the door. Hi babies, who's crying? Anya? Something that I've been adding into my daily morning routine is making sure that I get my vitamins in. So this is a multivitamin for 18 plus women. And this is a Symbiotic Plus, which has prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic in it. And both of these vitamins are from Ritual, who is so kind to be sponsoring this portion of the video. This is a clinical backed multivitamin formulated with key high quality ingredients, help fill common dietary gaps. It is vegan friendly, which is obviously very important to me. It's also a verified non-GMO project and it's major allergen free, including gluten free, without extras and artificial colorants. This multivitamin is designed to support foundational health with key nutrients to support brain health, bone health, blood building, and antioxidant support. One of the reasons I trust Ritual is because it is backed by the first visible supply chain of its kind, so you know where the labeled ingredients come from and why they're there. I also appreciate that Ritual has a happiness guarantee, which means if you don't love your Ritual after 30 days, they will refund your money, no questions asked. As for the Symbiotic Plus, this is the first vitamin where I see a prebiotic, probiotic, and a postbiotic. This is a daily three-in-one pre, pro, and postbiotic supplement designed to support gut, digestion, and immune health and each capsule is designed with delayed release technology to help you reach your colon and not your stomach I've been really enjoying the essential for women multivitamin from ritual So I'm really excited to add in the symbiotic plus to help support my gut digestive and immune health So what each of these things do in the symbiotic plus the prebiotic will help support the growth and activity of the good kind of bacteria in your gut Probiotics are live microorganisms that will help relieve bloating and gas things like that in digestion And the postbiotic which is a really great addition to this vitamin provides fuel to the cells and supports gut 
barrier function. When you open the bottle, it has this minty smell to it. It's essenced with mint to help cut support, but I actually really like the mint because it just helps me sort of wake up in the morning. It's very refreshing. These capsules are a delayed release design. So that's why they look a little interesting. And that's because having the delayed release capsule design helps it reach your colon and not your stomach, which is an ideal place for probiotics to grow. I've been really enjoying adding these into my routine. So thank you once again, Ritual, for sponsoring this video. They also were so kind to give me a discount code for you guys. You can use my code Zyda Malloy, scan the QR code on the screen, or click the link in my description. And this will get you 20% off your first month with Ritual, which is great because it'll give you a discount. And Ritual also has the happiness guarantee. So if you don't enjoy it in 30 days, you can send it back with no questions asked. Thank you, Ritual, once again for sponsoring this video. I shouldn't check again, but here we go. Jealous of all my friends, they've got it figured out. I don't. Stuck on a loop, getting all in my head. So much to do, I can't count the endless hours I've spent on failure prone. Time's always been an enemy, scaring me half to death. I fell asleep at 17 and woke up 30.
this out. Whoa, doggy, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I just got out of the shower, so I'm gonna do the rest of my skincare routine. I washed my face while I was in the shower and I used my matcha hemp hydrating cleanser. I've been using that cleanser for quite some time now. When it comes to toners and essences, I'm using the rice toner from the I'm From brand. I like to just kind of press the product in as opposed to using like a cotton pad and swiping it all over my face. Oh, I have to get a refill of this. This is the Ginseng Essence Water from Beauty of Joseon. It feels so nice, oh my god. For hyaluronic acid, I recently switched to the Mixun Glacier Water Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which is really, really nice. I love the packaging, but I recently got sent this hyaluronic acid, so I'm going to try it out today. It's the Makas Hyaluronic Acid Firming Boost Serum. Oh, it's pretty. It's so pretty. This is a niacinamide serum. I like to put my eye creams in. I have a little mini skincare fridge here, so it feels nice and cold. Love it. Next is moisturizer. This is the day moisturizer I use. I gotta get more of this. I've gone through so many jars of this moisturizer. It's really nice. And the last step to my morning skincare routine and one of the most important steps is sunscreen. Even though it's gloomy outside and I won't really be going out, I'm still going to be applying sunscreen because UV rays can still come out even though it's gloomy and I have a lot of windows all over my apartment. But even then, I think applying sunscreen every day, regardless of if you're going out or not, can be a great way to get you into the habit of putting sunscreen on. Now I'm looking like a glazed donut or a hard boiled egg. <laughs>
just went to sit down to start eating my dinner. My laptop is behind here. And I just, I went like this. And I guess I, I don't even know how this happened, but I chipped. Look at that, look at that. At least my, my real nail is intact. That's never happened before. I've never had like a piece of the nail rip off. <laughs> I'm going to be watching this new K-drama. It's called Marry My Husband. And I decided to watch this K-drama because Stephanie made a video on it. And I always end up watching her videos instead of watching the actual K-drama. I decided to start it myself to see how I felt about it. I'm still gonna watch her videos, obviously. But I'm also gonna actually watch the K-drama. But yeah, so far so good. I'm on episode a little into episode three and it's pretty good it is dramatic all k-dramas are that's just how k-dramas be but um i think this is based off of a webtoon I did my little treadmill walk and I also stretched. I just got out of the shower and I did my skincare. I'm feeling very nice and now I'm going to get settled in bed to read a book. But I mentioned in my last video that I kind of want to do maybe some book content. I don't know. But before dedicating like a full video to book content, I kind of just wanted to go through the books that I read in January as well as the book that I just finished last night. I just wanted to give a quick little review of the books I read. So the first book I read when I was getting back into reading was this book because I had seen this book everywhere. It was all over. Over, like book talk I saw Stephanie made a video about it I hadn't watched the video because I wanted to read the book before I watched her video but this is a very very popular book it is the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid who is also a very popular author I did really enjoy this book I was addicted to the story all the way up until like here I was I was eating it up eating it up this little section sobbing and then it was like uh, okay okay that's kind of how I felt. But overall, like a really good book, a really fun time, and definitely a good book to read if you're getting back into reading. I would highly recommend this. I think I would rate it four out of five stars. I think I would have given it a 4.5, but some things towards the end, I don't know. I think the ending is very important to me. So if the ending is either like not good or lukewarm, it will really affect my rating. All of this was like four and a half. And then towards the end, it kind of dropped a little bit. The next book I read is Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. This is a romance book. The main male lead in the story, his name is Elliot, absolutely adored him. He was just so sweet and so honest. The way that this book is laid out, it goes back and forth between the present and the past. And it's a story about Macy and Elliot and they are childhood friends to lovers, but they haven't talked in a little over a decade and it's them kind of coming back together. Reading their love story in the chapters that represented the past. So seeing them like get to know each other and fall in love with each other was my favorite, favorite part of this book. I wasn't really a fan of 
like the twist at the end because there's a twist the reason why they haven't talked in so many years uh i wasn't really a fan of it honestly but the whole the whole ride there was a good time i think i would rate this maybe a 3.5 this is another book that i was feeling like it'd be a four star rating and then the ending happened and i was like ooh. The next book I read is The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album. This was a pretty short read. You could probably read this book in one day if you have the time. As you can see, it is about the five people you meet in heaven. It is about a very old man named Eddie. I really liked the story, I think because Eddie kind of reminds me of my dad just a little bit. He's just kind of this grumpy old man, but um, it's mostly when you see bits and pieces of Eddie's childhood and the way that he grew up, that kind of reminds me of my dad a little bit. So I have a little bit of soft spot. Each person he meets in heaven, he learns a lesson from them. And one of the lessons, I wasn't really a fan of like what was happening. I felt like it was a really unnecessary detail that kind of icked me out a little bit. But aside from that, I did really enjoy this book. I tabbed a few things in this book that made me like tear up a little bit. And it's also a book that I still think about every now and then. So I did really enjoy my time with this book. Aside from that one part, I think I'd give this book like a 4.25. And then the last book that I read for January is this book called Almond. Sorry, I heard my cats wreaking havoc, and by cats, I mean Anya. <laughs> the last book that I read for January is this book called Almond by Won Pyong Sun, but it is a Korean translated to English book, and I'm pretty sure Namjoon, I think that's why I bought this book initially, Namjoon from BTS recommended this book, so I was intrigued. I did really enjoy it. I think the writing style was very sweet because it was in first person, and I really felt like the writing was juvenile in a not a negative way. It felt juvenile because it was in first person, and you were really in this kid's head. The story is about a boy named Yoon Jae who doesn't feel any emotions. It's kind of just his journey of navigating that after a really tragic accident happens to him. Yeah, another story that the end kind of fell off for me. Um, I did really enjoy a good portion of it, but I don't think about this story too much. Even though I read it very recently, like I think about all the other books more than I think about this one. So... Do with that what you will. I would give this like a 3.5. And the book that I just finished last night, my first book of February, is this book called Sweet Bean Paste by Darian Tsukagawa. And this is a Japanese book translated to English. And this was a really sweet book. Another pretty short, pretty short read. I feel like the story is just really warm and comforting and sweet, like the title says. I think it has some really great lines, some really great lessons, and teaches you how to sort of recognize that everyone has a story, not judge a book by its cover, and also don't let the past ruin your life and control your life. I really enjoyed reading this book and I did find myself like staying up a little bit later than I usually do just to keep reading. So for that, I did enjoy it, but I think overall I feel pretty lukewarm about it. I think I would give it overall like a 3.5, which is hard because I enjoyed it more than this book. I did enjoy this book more. So I don't want to give them the same rating, but it makes sense in my head that if I were to make like a tier list, they would probably go in the same tier. Those are all the books that I read in January plus the one that I read in February. And the book that I'm going to start reading tonight is this book. I've heard a lot of great things about this author. She's a romance writer to my knowledge. This one is called Book Lovers. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. I also have Beach Read, which depending on how I feel about this one, that'll be my next read. I will share my thoughts once I start reading it and then of course once I finish it. Let me know if you guys like book related content and you want me to talk about books because I've been really on a book kick lately. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you did, please give it a like, comment, subscribe. That stuff really helps me out. I would really appreciate it. And once again, thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring this video. You can use my code Zyana Malloy for 20% off your first month with Ritual. You can also scan the QR code on the screen right now, or you can click the link in the description below. But yeah, I hope you are doing well. I hope this week has been kind to you. And of course, before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, and you are so valid, and I am so so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Mwah.
Bye.